What's up, Team Beast? It's your boy, Beastman51, and welcome to my first ever episode of Ranting with the Beast. Every week, I'll take a rant, I'll take a topic that's going on in the world, and I'll talk about it every Sunday because it's Sunday right now. So they are doing this every Sunday, and do that as like my little Sunday thing. So today, for this rant, I will talk about something because it is summertime and. I'm pretty sure I've already seen a couple of cases for it already. Dogs left in hot cars. Okay. Number one. Never leave your dog in the car when it's hot. Because it is just a freaking death zone inside your car. If, if you guys ever notice, whenever you go to your car, going out with your mom, or you're just going out somewhere on yourself, and you feel how hot it is when you open the door for the first time on a hot day... That's, imagine how a dog feels when all the doors are closed and all the windows are closed and he has no way of getting any kind of air on him at all. In fact, there's actually a stat right here that says animals can sustain brain damage or even die from heat stroke in just 15 minutes of being in a hot car. 15 minutes. And that's saying something because with how hot it is and with how many people I've seen leave their dogs in the car, it drives me insane to know that. I mean, if you're going to have animals, or any kind of pets for that matter, you got to treat them as family. You can't just leave them in a hot car while you go off and do your shopping. If you do, give them some water or put some windows down or something so they have a way to get air. Because for them, that's not going to be good. And it's not even just that. It's also kids as well. Which, I'll also talk about that as well, since it's kind of on the same topic. If you ever, if I, I swear to God, if I ever see somebody leave their kid in a hot car when it's, like, super hot outside and the windows are down, I'd probably break a window or two. Because I'm one of those people where I hate seeing cases like that, and it's just absolutely crazy to, to me to think that some people are dumb enough and stupid enough to leave their kids in a steaming hot car while they go off and do their shopping. Yeah, they say it's going to be like a few minutes, but then hours pass and the kid's probably dead from the heat, from the heat in the car. It just, I just don't understand it. I mean, I don't understand why some parents would leave their kids in a hot car and then feel guilty about it. Well, I mean, it's kind of your fault anyway. It's your fault for leaving your kid in the car. And you have no reason and you have no reason to be guilty at all. You neglected your child when you put them in that hot car and didn't take them inside with you. And that's heartbreaking to me to know that. Cuz I've seen so many cases about it and I I just get so I just get so upset and so mad. When I always hear those kind of cases, it drives me absolutely crazy to think that there's people in the world who do that to their kids. I, 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 I really don't understand. What difference does it make if you bring your kid in there? Alright, yeah, they might start crying a little bit, but you're a parent. You should never, ever leave your kid in an abandoned, or not an abandoned car, but in a hot car... On a hot day, with the windows up all the way and no air conditioning on. If you do that, and your kid dies from that, or your kid, or your windows are broken, it's not going to be my fault that I broke your window. I'm just going by what I see, and I'm just going by what needed to be done. If you come over there and try to call the police on me and say that I should be arrested for vandalism... I could just turn around and say, well, she left her kid in this hot car, and I just did what any other person would do. I broke a window, and I got the kid out of there. And then she would more likely be arrested for neglecting her kid. And to me, that is much better, knowing that she would get in trouble for it, because she left her kid in that car, and didn't plan to do anything about it. And if you're gone for a long period of time, I mean, if you're gone for, like, say, maybe five minutes then okay 
it might be alright. But if you are gone for like an hour or so, and your kid's in a hot car like that, there is no excuse. Actually, no, no, no. There isn't even an excuse if you're in there for five minutes. You always take your kid inside with you, no matter what, on a hot day. I mean, I just don't know why some people are dumb enough to do that. If you're gonna do that to your own kid, you shouldn't even be parents. You shouldn't have even had kids. Because you just proved to everyone that you neglect your child and that you are a worthless piece of shit for doing that to your own kid. And there are some people, sadly, who are like that. And I hate when this happens. So guys, let's just be a little lesson. If you ever want to take your pets out, if you ever want to take your kids out, please take them with you, okay? They're part of your family, so make them like your family. Especially your children. Your children should not have to stay in a steamy hot car while you go in there and do what you have to do. You need to take them with you as well. Because, yeah, they might scream and cry and all that, but it would be well better than leaving them in a hot car with the potential for them to die from a heat stroke. Same with your dogs. Because like I said earlier, it takes them 15 minutes to sustain brain damage or even die from a heat stroke for your animals. And if it was me, I would definitely take my dog outside and let him get some fresh air. I mean, yeah, there's some places where you can't take your animals into, but you know what? I'd make sure he got fresh air. I would make sure... I'd make sure that I'd put some windows down a little bit, put the air on, and let him have some water. So that way, he's perfectly fine. And also, if you do do that as well, like if you do give your kids air conditioning or whatever, put a little note like on your door or something that says, this car is has the air conditioner on and music on and yada yada yada, and the kid's perfectly fine, so please don't break the window. If I ever, if I see those, that'd be fine, because those are the good kind of people who know what they're doing, and um, everything like that. And also, it's just, it's just sad. Like I don't understand why some parents would do that to their kid, and I hear it all of this all the time. Parents always feel guilty about it and everything like that. And, they think that they're the main victim. No, your kid's the victim. Ah, my nose is edgy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> your kids are the victim because of what you did to them. Never in your life should you ever leave your kids, animals, or whatever in a hot car on a hot summer day. Because to me, you're, you've neglected your, your, you've neglected your right as a parent. You've neglected your child. You've neglected your animal, and you honestly just don't seem to care about anything but yourself. And if I ever see any of that, then you know damn well there's going to be a window busted, and there's going to be cops called. Because I don't take that kind of stuff lightly. I don't like people who leave their, their kids... Or their animals in their cars while they go off and do stuff on their own. And yet, it's just insane to me how the world runs like that. Where there are people who just don't seem to care. But, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet this year and I hope, I hope, I hope it doesn't happen this year. I mean, yeah, it's going to happen, like, around the world most times, but I hope there's no cases where I see it and I have to deal with it, because, yeah, I would definitely do it, but it will be a lot better if, but it will be way better if there's no problems and nobody has to worry about anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little rant. Sorry it's kind of short, but I didn't want to talk on for hours, and if I felt like I was just talking in circles there, I'm sorry. I've never actually done this kind of thing before, so I'm kind of new to it, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, guys, I actually have made some changes. Instead of for my heart subscriber special, 
for the hard voice impressions. I'm now going to do it for my 100th video as my 100th video special. So, whenever I hit to my 100th video, which I don't know if this is it. Hold on. I gotta look it up real quick because my brain doesn't work well in the mornings. But whenever I get, but whenever I do my 100th video, I will do a 100 voice impressions for you guys. And it might take a while because I have to learn more, but you know what? I'll be sure to get some more voices in for you guys. Because I know how much you guys like the other ones. So let me take a look real quick here. Alright, so... Alright, so this thing's gonna have 50 or 95. Yeah, 95, right? Yeah, that's what it's saying. Alright, so when I do hit my hard video, guys, I will do a hard voice impressions. And also, guys, if you have any ideas for what you want me to rant about, let me know down in the comments below. And I will definitely. Uh, if you guys have anything, like. If you guys have any. Thing you want me to talk about during rants, or do you have, or if you have anything you want me to rant about, let me know down in the comments below. I will take requests, and um, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, it's your boy Beastman Fifty One, and I'll see you guys later. Team Beast, for life.